Hey guys, this is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. Again, we are back with a Power BI dashboard. As you already know, I keep coming up with all these contents, whether it is created by me or by my LinkedIn friends, doesn't really matter because what matters to you is content and I am here with content, right? I come up with all these dashboard videos and some end-to-end -end project videos because I want to share as much information, as much knowledge to you guys so that I can motivate you to create your own projects, take ideas from these kind of dashboards and try to create your own stuff. These dashboards are termed as one of the end-to-end -end data analytics projects as well. So in case you are looking out for a data analytics related job or a business intelligence related job into Power BI or Tableau, this is what you need to do as an end-to-end -end project. Now we'll definitely be talking about this dashboard, which is created by one of my LinkedIn connections. Of course, I'll talk about him as well. But if you are liking my videos, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Press the bell icon to get notified on my future videos as well, because liking and sharing and commenting in a video is definitely needed. And that's what is all about the new YouTube algorithm because of the new algorithm if you if i don't get the love if i don't get the likes and comments my video won't be shown to other users so treat it as a gesture of a give up give back because what i am giving you is a content you should give me back with your likes and content with your likes and comments and as much love as possible so let's get started with today's video here we go So as I told you, today's video is about a uh, dashboard. So this is the data set, Microsoft Adventure Works Cycles Customer Data. It's a three years data, I believe. And who is the creator of this dashboard? He is Harshil Patel. Now Harshil Patel is already connected with me on LinkedIn since quite a long time. And he has done a lot of Power BI dashboards and projects. And I don't know how exactly I got connected, but of course I might have seen some of his work. I remember I saw one of his work and I immediately pinged him that, Hey, can we showcase this on my video on my channel? Because what you have done is great. And I need that to be showcased to my crowd, to my students, to my people who are watching my videos, because the more knowledge I can give it to you, the more ideas you can use to create your own projects as well. So Mr. Harshil Patel, who is currently doing his master's in uh, science, I believe, from Usha Pravin Gandhi College of Arts, Commerce and Science. And uh, this is his profile. I'll definitely leave his profile in the description below in case you want to get connected with him, in case you like his work, you want to offer him a job or something like that, you can definitely do that. And uh, of course, any kind of problems related to Power BI, you can come to me or else you can find Harshil Patel as well. So this is his profile and let's quickly move ahead with this particular dashboard. So data sets, you already have the data sets. Of course, I'm going to upload these things. Uh, I think Harshil has already uploaded. So the data sets, the PBIX file, everything will be available in the GitHub. The link will be provided in the description below. So we'll start with this particular dashboard, Adventure Work Cycles Dashboard. I'll not do a detailed walkthrough because it's going to take a lot of time to do a detailed walkthrough, but I'll show you some important things. So as you can see, he has used a lot of cards related to total revenue, total customers. And for each of these attributes, he has created measures. If you see, total revenue is a simple measure, sum of revenue. Similarly, total customers, he is using uh, D customer, total customers. Again, it's a count A function. Again, it's a simple measure. Number of products, he has again created count of products. So these are all basic uh, measures which has been created and he's placing cards and showing it. And then he has some orders versus target related stuffs in a gauge format. You can see this is a gauge uh, this is a gauge chart 
he has also done it for the current month revenue versus the target month versus the target returns versus target and a lot of uh, measures has been created of course by him you can check it out so i hope everybody knows about power bi basics in case you don't know about power bi you are new to it i already have so many videos related to power bi just go to my channel go to my playlists there will be power bi projects and power bi you can go to power bi and go through there must be a video with part 1 and part 2 just go through them and that's it you should be good at it and then you can easily pick up power bi moving on to the dashboard here he has created some simple charts some simple bar charts and here created some uh, some sort of area charts and all those things okay he hasn't used any analytics features which is okay you can also use the analytics features to create some you know if you are doing some time series forecasting or something like that he has also used a lot of filters here location you can see three locations are there he has used a year as a slicer and some of the categories well i would say uh, see uh, i really like the dashboard but uh, of course there can be a lot of room of improvement right and he has also created some drill throughs you can see product details and customer details which are present but they are hidden format that means it's a drill, drill through which he has used if i just control click on power bi desktop you can go to these tables to understand what each one of them means so customer details of course when you are using power bi desktop you have to do control click when you are publishing it when you are using the power bi service you don't have to do control click you can simply click and you will be navigating to your pages so these are all the things and for this one he is using a matrix you can see all these things are done so i'll quickly go back to the front page again and uh, so in this gauge he has used total returns previous month and total profit so previous month what is previous month so he has created some dax functions that means he has created he's calculating the total returns on the last year sorry the last month you can see he's doing calendar date minus 1 month that means he's checking with the previous month okay similarly this is also a monthly thing and one good feature he has used is the scrollers you can see the scroller this is a scroller and he is using continent as a category so you can see all the continents are visible north america europe what are the con continents europe north america and pacific so all these values are shown but it's showing you two figures one is some uh, total revenue and one is the increment right so he is using the measure absolute as the total revenue which basically is uh, simply it should be the sum of revenue it is the sum of revenue and previous year revenue again he must be doing some calculate of total revenue with a date add of minus 1 of year yeah as i predicted it uh, total revenue date add calendar date minus 1 year that means he is calculating the previous year's data and based on this he is placing this uh, measure in the measure deviation that is the reason we are able to calculate the deviation so this is all about this uh, particular uh, project let's try to go and uh, publish it and see how it looks like in the app.powerbi.com so i'll use my regular testing uh, my regular testing thing so i'll quickly go to my app.powerbi.com in the meanwhile it's getting published so it's already published so let me go to my app.powerbi.com i'll go to my workspaces testing and here i am able to see my new report if i click on this of course i will be seeing one page right as simple as that because rest of these pages both are hidden right it's a drill through so I, i'm not doing any control click so you can simply click and navigate through the pages so one small um feedback for this particular report will be normally when you create some power bi reports one one normal feedback a general best practices would be whenever you are creating some measures always create under a separate blank query 
so that you can track all your measures in that particular column. Okay, if you are creating a cre calculated column under a, let's say you are creating a column under D calendar under this query, then it is okay. But when you are creating measures, it's always recommended to create it in a separate query where you can actually see how many measures you have created. You don't have to scroll through all these things. One more small uh, advice would be uh, from a customer's point of view, because the reports or the dashboards are created for customers, for end uh, customers or higher management or the sales team, something like that. So it's not appealing like to your eyes because I would like to have a dashboard with a lighter background. That's a normal feedback. Now, if I just want to change it a little bit, I don't want to do major changes. I'm just changing a little bit about the transparency. So if you, of course, the colors are not matching with this background, we'll have to do a lot of changes, but somewhat like this, you can see, you can see the difference, right? At least this version of it is better than the zero transparency because when you are having zero transparency, when you are having a darker background, of course, people who like, uh, you know, dark themes, it would be good for them. So again, it's a, it's a debate. Some people like dark themes, some people like white themes. So why don't we give an option of both the themes, dark theme and light theme? That could be one of the suggestions. Apart from that, splendid work done by uh, Harshil. I would like to give a shout out to him. So that's it about uh, this particular video. You can uh, go through this PBIX file, explore it. And in case you have something to show me, in case you want to re get reviewed on some of your EDA work or some of your machine learning work, feel free to connect me on LinkedIn. I'll be happy to review our work as well. And in case you have some amazing dashboards or end-to-end -end projects, reach out to me. Reach out to me definitely. And we will make sure we'll create a video because it's a win-win for all. You get your things published on one of the channels. Of course, my channel is not that great, but you know, it's going to be a win-win for sure. Win-win from my side would be my contents will be created. Like I'll get more contents. Win-win for my audience will be, they will get more projects like this. So that is all about this video. I hope you liked it. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. Hit the bell icon to get notified and winding up for this video. I'll come up with a lot more videos in the next future, in the near future. Thank you. Bye-bye.